Good evening and welcome to tonight's Remains of the Sale video. I had a little bit more than I did last week, which was a very short and quick one, which is why we just did a picture of the stuff. Tonight I have enough for a video. Not a whole lot left, but we do have this couple things in the basket, these items here. And I have, we'll start with this rusted rooster, which is quite rusted. Um, it's very cool. It's cast iron. It is $22.30 off, so that'd be $15.60, I believe. And I did not see any markings. He is heavy. And you can see he has a rusted rooster. And that is from our vendor, the Hip Chick. Now, in the basket, I don't know if you follow us on Facebook. Last week, I did a whole bunch of lace and button pictures that you could purchase the lace and the buttons. These are $5.60 a pack. And she's got six types, two feet each, totaling four yards in each one. This is from our vendor, New to You. I still have four packs left. I sold two during tonight's show. This beautiful platter, I did not see any chips or cracks. The only issues I did see with it are crazing, and we have some staining within the crazing, which is quite common in the older pottery. So it's quite usable, decorative. That is $9, and that is a 40% off. So that would be $5.40, I believe. And that is from our vendor picking wildflowers. So you can see it's very pretty, and it is a USA pottery. French Diane China. So we have that very lovely platter. Now in here, I had started this video and I had to restart because it shut off on me. And plus I realized I had more stuff behind me to bring over. I have these vintage animal water squirt guns and these are $8 each. These are burning sensation. We have a panda bear and I did not test them to see if they hold water. They do have the little plug that goes in the back. So we have the panda bear and we also have this alligator they are plastic. I didn't see any maker's marks on them, so I'm not sure uh, who made them or when they were made. I have this cute little it's resin and it's two pieces uh, egg, and that is also from Burning Sensation Antiques, and that is just $3. There's no maker's mark. You have the same design on front and back, and it's like raised, and it is solid. It's a very pretty blue. So I'll just put this in here. I have these cute little made by, oops, that one needs a little glue on it. We just lost our Y, I don't know, but it fell off, so that needs a little bit of glue. You, me, us, and always, and we can pop some glue on that for you. And those are $8 each for the cute little uh, Scrabble messages. Okay, and then we have here, sorry, I'm sitting on the floor, so this is not easy for me. Okay, I have these nice little, well, let's show this first. This is by that Susie brand. We've had it up a couple times for other things. And it's just a resin little thing. And this is $3.20 from Andover Junction. See, there's that Susie Maker mark. And it says Basket Collector. And it just sits on your shelf with the three little bears. We have this beautiful pair of Made in India brass candle holders. Those are from our vendor, uh, Thrifty Rick. And for the pair, they are $7.20 for both of those. And they've got some good weight to them. I think they were like four inches. I measured them during the show but I'm not 100% sure if you need that information. I can gladly get that for you afterwards. If you are one of my Facebook or Instagram followers and you're watching this, please feel free to direct message me any questions or anything you wish to purchase from this video or any of our other videos or anywhere else you might have seen our stuff. There's a cute Silesia Austrian uh, bowl, and that is, she just marked that down. So my cinematography with one hand is not easy. 640, that's pretty porcelain. Take my eyes over here. I'm going to try to push this basket so I can get over here a little bit easier. Okay, I have this cute Boy Scouts mug. Now she's got it as is. I think the as is is just some of the paint wear. And that is $4.90. And that is from our Belmont farmhouse. Did not see a maker's mark. Maybe she meant this. I'm not quite sure. Might have had gold around. Oh, yeah, okay. So all the gold is lost around the room except that little bit. Don't see a maker's mark. I'd imagine that is most likely a USA pottery. We have this pretty little hand-blown crackle glass with the applied handle. And that this is what I love. Some of my vendors actually put the measurements on everything. So three and a quarter inches, and that is $8. And that is crackle glass. You can see the crackling in it. We have a very rough pontil, so we know this is hand-blown and not uh, mass, ma you know, mass-produced. That was actually handcrafted. We have this cute little, this is marked Avon. It's gold tone. You get that little tea light candle with it the battery operated that's just 490 
So that's a very cute little flower, uh, flower candle holder there. Okay. Getting a little bit easier to sort through things. This bottle I think is fantastic. It's very unusual in that it's soda water stars, right? And it's embossed. It's got this great that aqua light green coloring to it. But what's so fascinating about this is it's actually Coca-Cola bottle manufacturing. So, and that is $14, a very unusual one there. We have this cute little pottery cornucopia. And that did not have a maker's mark either. This is 14 and then uh, she's 40% off. So that would be 840 or something like that. And that's just a ceramic, very pretty. I mean, it's, it's and like I was talking about in the live, you want to make sure anything that you're going to put water into is glazed inside so that the water does not come through and saturate and ruin your piece. And it won't hold it very long because it's still porous, so it's just going to sit there and suck up all the water. This is more of like a, it's more of a, got more of a brown overtone to it. It's hand-painted little mail carrier. It does have the bell handle. It's just a nice little decorative piece. You can hang it or sit it down, and that is 960 eight by four and a quarter inches. Now let's get to these last few things here. Okay, this I couldn't believe didn't sell tonight. $2 firm, vintage handcraft, you know, this is one of those little craft ornaments that you would have made. It's like styrofoam, but then it's got that, that little satiny on it, and then it's got this pretty white with yellow ribbon and then little appliques to it. And that's just $2 for this cute little Easter egg. And then this thing was, how much was this? $2.80. And it's uh, the uh, Morse, sorry, I had a message pop up while I'm trying to do this. Samuel F.B. Morse at the first uh, demonstration of the telegraph. So it's just this cool little uh, plaque for just $2.80. It's very kitschy, very 1960s, early 70s. And then if you have a red and white kitchen, you have a vintage kitchen, these are a must-have. These are beautifully made, never look to have been used. I personally would not use them because they're really not, I mean, they're for warm, you could use them for um, something not super hot. You could use them. But it's the pair of them for $8, and it is a left and a right. And it does have our little hook here to hang these up. So if you have one of those old uh, pot, uh, pot holder hangers in your kitchen with those cute little metal hooks that are in it, and it's got that wood background, it's like the little teapot shaped or the dogs or whatever, this is what you'd be hanging off of there to make it more... Uh, to fit the period of that little pot holder hanger and that's just eight dollars for those so again this is just a, a, wrap, a wrap up of our sales from tonight of the few things that didn't sell i had over 100 items and this is all that remained from that sale uh, to purchase just check out our biography you can leave me a comment and i will see it and i can get back to you or if you're on like i said our instagram or facebook direct message me and then just put the timestamp of the item and i will gladly get that for you Thank you for taking your time and spending it with us at Gray Barn. Good night.